Hi guys, nice easy little video today. This is on a very, very, very solvable problem, but one which keeps cropping up in all the writing homework I receive and certainly crops up in all the speaking. So, to make. Okay, now to make is a verb you probably learnt, the basic verb in French. You think you're com comfortable with this verb. Je fais, tu fais, il fait, nous faisons, vous faites. Ils font, okay, nicely underneath. Now, so we think that's all good, that's all easy. I make, now let's go, let's make life a bit more interesting. He makes me speak. So he makes, il fait, he makes me, il me fait. Second verb, as you know, will be the infinitive, il me fait parler. Okay, he me makes speak, il me fait parler. He makes me speak. Great. He made... Il a fait, as you know with your pronouns, if you've got a, a have verb, a middle verb, your pronoun sits in the middle. So he made me, il a fait, il m'a fait parler. Fantastic. He will make me speak. Oh, I know it, I haven't practiced the verbs, but Luke will make me speak. So Luke uh, will make, Luke fera. Yeah, if that's not clear to you why that's fera rather than fera, or even how to do the future, Please check the video on the list to the side and have a look for it, okay? So it's irregular future blocks. So he will make, il fera, yeah, il me fera, il me fera parler, okay? So basically, any tense that we're going to be using, faire, to make somebody do a verb. And this is the crucial difference that we are talking about in this video. He makes me happy, yeah, he makes me sad. He makes the situation easier, he makes it easier, he makes it more difficult. None of those are verbs afterward. Listen again. He makes me happy. He makes me sad. He makes the situation easier. He makes the situation more complicated, more difficult. So bottom line, when you use faire, you are going to follow it with a verb to make someone do something is going to be a verb, okay? And when you use rendre, you are going to have an adjective, okay? You are rendering somebody something you can describe. You are making them do something they can do. So there are pretty weird ways of remembering this. We can think, well, fair is probably the first verb you learnt. So you're going to go with that one for the doing stuff and render, you know, I don't know really whether we would anybody would remember in English saying he renders me happy, but you can kind of get the sense that we are we're aiming at from this. So the bottom line is fair for a verb, rendre for an adjective. So let's have a listen to some examples. So he makes the situation easier. Now is easier an adjective or is it a verb? He renders the situation easier, il rend la situation plus facile. Can we basically remind ourselves of the verb rendre? So using the logic language learning method, it's a soft hard verb. So rend, 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 rendant, rendez, rende. That is underneath, okay? So if one person is rendering the situation, or making the situation an adjective, you're going to be having a soft sound, il rend, lui rend. Yeah? If plural people if people, if plurals, make the situation something, it's going to be a hard sound. So, nous rendons, vous rendez, ils rendent. Okay? So, let's try. Luke makes the situation easier. So, Luke makes the situation. Luke rend la situation plus facile. Okay? Luke made. So, basic past. Bum, bum, bum. Luke a rendu. Luke a rendu la situation plus facile. Absolutely fine and comfortable in all of the tenses. We're just using rendre when we're using an adjective, a description. So Luke will make the situation easier. Luke rendra yeah, la situation plus facile. Okay. Uh, he, uh, that made me uh, sad. That, that made me happy. Okay. So this is where we have a little bit of a decision to make. So you could, in all honesty, say, he made me, so he made me happy. 
Okay, so for example, il m'a rendu, he, me, has rendered, because it's going to be the R1, isn't it, for, for an adjective, yeah? So, il m'a rendu content, but there's other ways of saying it. So, for example, you could say, he pleased me, il m'a plu, from the verb plaire, yeah? Uh, he made me sad, or they make us sad. So, they make, using rendre, because we're making somebody sad. So I'm going to be needing to use the rendre verb. So no verbs involved. If I'm saying he makes us jump, he makes us talk, he makes us dance, I use faire. He makes us happy, he makes us sad, he makes us interesting, I'm using rendre. So he made us sad. So il, they, let's say they made us sad. So ils ont rendu, they made. Ils nous ont rendu, okay, they made us, ils nous ont rendu, triste. But there's often a verb, so the verb in French to make sad is attristé. Yeah? Ça m'a attristé, or ça m'a triste, that makes me sad, present tense. Ça m'a rendu triste, okay? So both methods are usable, okay? That made me mad, okay? You, I suppose you could say ça m'a rendu, that rendered me énervé, yeah? But the verb is to madden somebody, ça m'a énervé, okay? So often these combinations, when you could use rendre, have a little think if there isn't a more interesting verb, okay? Um, he made me tired, okay? Il m'a rendu fatigué. But would you really say that, or would you say he tired me? Il m'a Fatigué. So listen to the adjective you're using. If the adjective comes from a verb, chances are you could just use the verb. Okay? Uh, he made me interested in, in what he was teaching. He interested me. Yeah? Il m'a intéressé. Il m'a intéressé. Okay, so that's just one idea. So now let's just do a little combination of the different ones and you choose the tense and the verb in question. So he, so they make me speak in French. Ils me font parler en français. He is going to make me... Uh, he's going to make me explain. Il va me faire expliquer. Expliquer is a verb. He's going to make the situation easier. Easier is an adjective. Il va rendre la situation plus facile. Okay, so we're writing an essay. Okay, uh, the government has made the situation more complicated. Now, le gouvernement a rendu la situation plus compliquée. But complicated, does that come from a verb? Yes. So instead of saying he, the government made the situation more complicated, I could say the government complicated the situation. Donc, le gouvernement a compliqué la situation. Okay? Which often rings a little bit better. Okay? Uh, the student, uh, the teacher made the subject more interesting. Le professeur a rendu... So, Individual subject within a lesson, le sujet, or la matière, like the general what subjects are you learning, uh, plus, plus intéressant or intéressante, depending on which one of those you used, okay? Um, Luke makes us practice every day. Luke nous fait pratiquer, because pratiquer is a verb, okay? Luke is going to make us annoyed. Luke is going to make us annoyed. Now I want you to try and see what's the best possible combination for this. Luke va nous énerver. Good, we can use a different verb because render us annoyed. Annoyed is from a verb to annoy. Okay. Oh, Luke's going to make us tired. Luke va nous fatiguer. Good, because we could use the verb to tire. We're hearing tired, ed, so that's from a verb. So basically, bottom line in overview, if we are using make somebody do something, we're going to use fair in all its beautiful tenses. If we are making somebody a description, we're going to use rendre, but we can often find a verb to do that with directly. 
It is as simple as that. Okay. So basically, all we need to remember as well is that faire is an irregular verb. Rendre is a nice soft hard. Okay. And most of the, the other verbs we've been dealing with, the more, the more logical, direct, pertinent verbs, they tend to be A verbs, don't they? So, calmer, he rendered it calmer, he calmed her, he tired us, rather than he made us tired, fatigué, calmer, excité, énervé. So most of these are the more direct verbs, they're pretty easy to work out. Okay, if you have any questions whatsoever, please contact me on the information below. And if this video has helped you understand the very, very common difference between make someone do and make someone a feeling, uh, can you please uh, give me a nice big like? Thank you very much.